Greetings, fellow gamers. This is The Lep, here to talk with you about Echoes of Mana, which was released yesterday, April 27th. Now, I apologize that I haven't made any videos since my initial one, but I didn't feel that the information that was being released merited full video recaps. Additionally, I've been a bit sick the past two months. Happily, I'm feeling better, and we now have the game available to us all globally. With that, I've decided it might be helpful to make some beginner guides to help new players to better understand how the game works. Now, I won't be making videos around tier guides or re-rolling guides, but if you're interested in that, I recommend checking the pinned comment below as I'll link to some other content creators who have made those videos already for the launch of the game. In these next few videos, I'll be going over some information about the systems available in this game. The first one that I'd like to review is the Harvest System, or the Gacha or Summoning System. To do this, though, let me first give some background information. Echoes of Mana is both an action RPG game and a gacha game. This means that part of the goal of the game is to collect the different allies and memory gems within. The allies are the playable characters within different Echoes. Now, many come from the different games in the Of Mana series, but some are totally new and specific to Echoes of Mana. Part of the tutorial of the game will walk you through the summoning process. Now, initially you will start out with Quilto or Quilta, the main playable character. By playing through the main story quests, you will occasionally also obtain additional allies to join your party and, of course, by harvesting or summoning for them. To access your roster of allies, either click the Allies icon at the bottom of the screen, or click the Menu button in the top right, and then select Allies. Each ally or character has a different star rating, from 1 to 6. Right now, the highest available allies to harvest are 4-star allies, but this may change over time. Typically, the higher the star rating, the better, but this is not always exclusively the case. In Echoes of Mana, you'll be able to use certain items to rank up characters. It's also important to call out that the allies can have multiple versions of themselves. For example, I have two versions of Seraphina, both of which are three-star allies. The first is Water Element and wields a polearm, the second is Earth Element and wields a bow. They have different base stats and different skills that they use. As you level up the characters, their stats will increase. You can also use the Mana Board to increase stats and equip characters with gear and memory gems. Speaking of memory gems, I'd like to switch gears and talk about them. Memory gems are a type of equipment that depict a memory of the allies and worlds of the Mana series. To access your memory gems, click the memory gem button at the bottom of the screen, or click the menu icon at the top right, and then memory gem. Similar to allies, memory gems have different star ratings, with higher star ratings usually meaning a better memory gem. When you equip one to an ally in your party, it will grant additional stats to that equipped character, as well as an Aegis skill, which is like a passive skill that will help you out. Just like with your allies, you can level up your memory gems. With all of this information in mind, let's talk about harvesting. Harvesting, and in other games in the wider gacha community, it's sometimes called summoning or pulling for characters. Harvesting is the main way you will be filling out your roster of allies and memory gems. The main way to harvest characters from the Echoes or Fruit of the Mana Tree is by using Spirit Crystals, the paid currency of this game. Now, that said, you don't need to spend any money. The game will give you Spirit Crystals as part of the pre-registration bonuses, from login rewards, from completing different content in the game, and likely through other bonuses in the future. If you choose to spend, please do so wisely 
and within your budget. You can access the harvest function either by talking to Bashir in town, by clicking the harvest icon at the bottom of the screen, or by clicking the menu icon at the top right of the screen and then selecting harvest. As a side note, I'm finding this menu feature really useful to skip some of the loading screens when moving between pages or systems. Now, in gacha games, we typically have different banners from which we can summon characters. As of the launch of Echoes of Mana, we have the Release Celebration Harvest, which runs until May 31st. The featured 4-star allies on this banner are Reese and Duran. This means that there is a slightly higher chance of getting them when you harvest or summon. This does not mean you are guaranteed to get them. Again, this does not mean that you are guaranteed to get them. Summoning is random. There is a percentage chance that you will get certain allies or memory gems when you summon. Just because you summon once, it will not influence the likelihood of the next summon. In statistics terms, your summons are independent events. The featured banner will show the draw rates of all available allies and memory gems, as well as the probability of getting those from each pull. If this is something people are interested in learning about further, I'd be happy to discuss this in a future video. You also have the ability to do a trial battle to test out the different allies that are featured. To actually harvest or summon, you can either click the Harvest times 1, which will spend 300 Spirit Crystals to summon one ally or memory crystal, or you can do Harvest times 10, which will spend, at least on this banner, 2,700 Spirit Crystals to summon 10 times. This banner has a slight discount. Doing the 10 times summon also has one guaranteed 3-star summon or higher on the 10th pull. So, depending on your luck and how many Spirit Crystals you have, it might be the better option because it does not seem like this guarantee, it doesn't seem to exist when you do single pulls. In gacha summon systems, there's also a concept of pity, meaning if you are unlucky and do not get the featured character you want within a certain number of summons, you can automatically get it. In Echoes of Mana, we have here the Trader Point feature, which is this game's equivalent of a pity system. After you summon 200 times on a banner, you can then take your trader points from that banner to the shop to buy one of those featured characters. It's important to note that these are only applicable to that specific banner, and after a certain amount of time, those trader points will expire and be converted into rabbite coins which can be used for other items, and Rabbite coins do not expire. Now, what happens if you get duplicates of an ally or a memory gem? Don't delete it! You can always use that duplicate to unleash the power of that character or memory gem. I'll make sure to put out a separate video going into more detail around that process. Hopefully, you found this video helpful. If you have any further questions, or if you'd like a video explaining certain aspects in further details, please make sure to let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, have a great day.